to my grandparents in Baguio and then after that we're gonna go to Thailand with my mom's mother so like my mom's side we're going to be spending time with her and then after that we're gonna go Barakai so Barakai okay no I don't like how Barakai. I said that <laughs> Barakai. Barakai. <laughs> and then after that we're gonna go to my mom's side in um, the province and that basically will sum up my trip in the Philippines but anyways Fit check of the day um, before I go shower. This is one out of three outfits that I brought with me in this trip, even though we're only staying here for a night. Wearing this top, it's kind of very minimal. <laughs> it doesn't have a lot of fabric, but wearing my Adidas navy blue track pants, and then as well as my mesh sandals, and now I have coral toes, so. They're peeking out. Jewelry is always the same. I've got my two rings and then my bracelets. Also got some big hoops and then this big scrunchie. Got these treats. It's um, puto seco, which is, um, it's like a powdery type of meringue. dessert. What? Meringue. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of like a meringue. And then we also have bibinka. So this is what it looks like. It's a type of rice cake. La <laughs> 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 What did he say? We <laughs> have rice. La rice. Gusto namin ng I missed this. Oh my gosh. Look at the consistency. What's the flavor of that one? Is it coconut? Mm, so good. Try it. Here, give me a bite. It's like, almost like gummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not too sweet, which I like. Mm -hmm. And then the top is like a... I should do yes, red though. Hi, Ate. Makana yung red. Thank you. With my nails. Can I see? Oh, cute. Cool. <laughs> should I do that or? Try the other one. Oh, the other side. That one. Ito. Ooh, that's cute too. Nice cute then. Both. Nice. Both. <laughs> <laughs> It's my mom's birthday, by the way. Queso, chaka, mango, ate. Good morning! So right now I'm at my grandpa's and grandma's place on my dad's side and I want to show you where I grew up because this is basically like the house that I grew up in before we moved to Canada. Uh, what are you doing? He's trying to come out. But basically, we have a little stairway, okay? And I used to, like back when I was a kid, I used to climb this roof. 
So I'd like hop up and climb up to like that place. And I remember I'd walk to school every morning because it's about like a five minute walk from here. It just feels so nostalgic. <laughs> Mom is um, doing the lavada, which laundry. is laundry in English. Hand washing. This is how we hand wash our laundry. I feel like it's more, it's more cleaner when you do it by hand. Mm. I'm here for mental supports. <laughs> Look how marte. Look how marte. Yung barokong sister. <laughs> no, I can literally actually speak Filipino. Oh. I can speak better Filipino than Ken because obviously I moved out of Philippines when I was 14 and she was still like three years old. So this is green mangoes. Here. And when we do it, um, it's called alamang, which is a fish paste. Fish paste. Shrimp paste. Shrimp paste. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the Philippines so far for a week. There's absolutely nothing better than going back to your hometown and eating every food, street food, drink, everything that you can think of that you used to eat back in your childhood. And these fries have been on the top of my list. They're way better than McDonald's and they have different flavors. They have cheese, sour cream, but they come in a fries cup and a plastic bag and they're from Fry's Station. If you were in Baguio, you can find it in Puerto Vaga, but I might be biased because I also grew up eating it. Everything that I've been eating here in the Philippines have been super nostalgic because you can't find it anywhere else. You can't find certain fruits in Canada and London. I also want to show you my new slippers that I got from Vegan City. These are just like the cutest flip-flops and slip-ons. So this was 250 pesos, which is converts to about $5 Canadian. And together with this, these ones are also 250, which also converts to $5 Canadian. Um, but isn't this literally so cute? I'm gonna wear this at the province at my Lola's because it's really, really hot there, but oh my God, these are adorable. Just adorable. So tell them what you do when you eat polo. This is what it looks like. A lot of people might not be appetized with how it looks like, but this is, you know, what we eat. So you drink the soup after you peel it a little bit. How I eat it is I take out the, which is the unhatched egg. Duck. Unhatched duck or egg? Duck. 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 And I do a little spiced spice vinegar. vinegar. And then... There's still some egg inside. And so I eat this with either salt or spice vinegar as well. Soup in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A little spice vinegar. A little salt in that soup. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Break off, Ken. Um, so basically, there is this guy that always um, yells the hot by our street, like where I grew up in. And he comes like every morning. The hot is something that we normally eat for um, breakfast. It's tofu with sago and um, what's it called? Syrup. Brown sugar syrup. They have these two tin cans and in one tin can would be like the tofu and then the other tin can would be the syrup <laughs> and the to the sago. But basically it's like the same man that has served us um, the hot for years and years ever since I was a kid. And so today I thought I would like basically like tip him a lot and you know obviously I don't know. I don't know how to say it. So I'm going to take you along. We are going to go. I'm going to show you how he makes the taho from the, can the tin cans that he has. Now though, before he would usually like walk and he would balance both tin cans on his shoulders and like walk like that, like traditional um, the hot man way. But now he has a motorcycle or like, <laughs> he upgraded to a motorcycle. So now he has like the tin cans in a motorcycle. So it's not too hard to carry it around because yeah, it is heavy, it is a workout.
<laughs> What's the breakfast today? Oh my gosh, it's Star Apple! <laughs> Star they're, Apple. They're still cooking the casino. Do you want to eat Chase, you've eaten casino. already? Oh. This is to be. <laughs> Panagbenga week in Baguio and that usually means a lot of street food. We miss the actual um, street show. It's basically a whole parade of people um, performing but we missed that because we were in Thailand and I didn't really vlog Thailand because we were only there for a couple days. We're back in Baguio. I got these new rings from Thailand though so new ring check. We're heading to my Lola and Lola's house and we're gonna go eat breakfast, the usual routine. The weather here in Baguio is quite chilly so I am never in a full crop top because I always get cold. I also got this skirt from Thailand. It has a kind of like a track pant cut on the side. And so I'm wearing that with my loafers. I couldn't really be in my vacation outfits here in Baguio because it is chilly, as I said. I have my hair down every once in a while and today is the day that I decided to put my hair down and kind of feeling it, kind of feeling it. This is being a dog corn. That milk and shredded coconut. Hello. Palm Beach and so here is the entryway and to our right is the washroom so we got our shower bathtub our sink and a toilet they have a pretty good amount of space to store your clothes and luggage space which is so important because I hate having our luggages like just everywhere so I do love this little bench area to store our luggages on so we got a bit of closet space and then to our left is our room so we got a two bed room. We've got one queen and one double bed because I'm staying with my sister and one of my cousins is staying with us as well. We've got a little terrace view as well and it overlooks the pool area and obviously in front of our actual hotel is the beach which I'll show you later. We got a mirror. I look crusty so I'm not gonna show my face and the most important thing which is a full-length mirror to check our outfits obviously first things first one thing about me whenever I check in is I always like to keep everything organized and kind of unpack everything that I have so that everything is laid out the way I want it so my cleansers SPF obviously is a very important um, makeup bag is laid out and then my favorite part is this kind of like four-part organizer which I organize all of my hair clips 
um, hair products as well, skincare. So everything's kind of laid out and I don't have to like scavenger hunt for everything that I need whenever I do get ready. So I like to keep it pretty organized. <laughs> Got this red bikini top from Bambi Swim. My pants are from Revolve. Shoes, accessories, big scrunchie in red. And then for my bag, I might do my brown bag. And then I just clipped in the, a flower, a red flower, to match my outfit. That is what we are wearing today. Good morning. We woke up a bit late today. This is the going to breakfast fit. And we only have an hour to eat, so. swim um, bikini top. It's like a tie top together with the bottoms. It's just black bottoms as well. And hair is up. I have these big hoops what? No, no. I also have this like long body chain which is really cute I think. For makeup I kept it very light so I just have my brows, a bit of concealer, eyeliner, and a little bit of eyeshadow and then lip. Good morning. I've got a little bit of a tan, tan check. But today I want to prioritize chilling by the sun, by the beach, laying there and catching a tan. I want to get a henna today and I might get like a hand henna, like super simple, minimal henna. Just did my makeup, super simple. I've been loving the hourglass skin tint and the hourglass concealer combo for when I go on vacation. Um, and the skin tint is very easy to work with because if you are a little bit tan or if you do get tan, it kind of like oxidizes to your own skin tone but I'm gonna do my hair So 
basically just put my hair in a bun, a um, very messy one. I just kind of played around with it. Um, and then I did lay a couple of my baby hairs. And I'm going to put my headband on top. Okay, I got my earrings on. I feel like this hair with big earrings look really good together. For lip lately, I've been really feeling just any lip, any brownish lip liner. I typically use Refai's Fawn lip liner. And then I do a little bit of this Lily by Red lip tint. So it gives like a really subtle tint. Face makeup. It's really good. The straw is edible and it's like really structured. So I feel like they, they need to do this in America because paper straws are not it. It is way too hot, but we're tanning. It's way too hot. We've been trying to tan for the last hour. And the water feels so nice, and the sun feels really nice on the skin. But I'm getting hungry. Are you hungry? No? I kind of want Esau or something. Yeah, 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 Makeup I had the whole day. We're heading out for dinner, which I'm not really eating dinner. I might just eat like iso and street food. Kind of burnt a little bit today, so my back is a little burnt, but I do have some tan lines already. This is what I'm wearing, very simple. I just have my tube top and these red pants that I had to purchase from the market because I didn't really bring a lot of like linen, uh, lightweight pants. This is what we look like. Black and red, and then I have my black scrunchie, and we're ready to go. This is how I like to eat my mangoes. It's the best way to show them, mom. Like this, and then this. And then you open it like a flower. We're gonna go through my mom's photo album. <laughs> Oh, no. This is mom. Mr. Mark. There 
Here we go, my mother. Look at her poses. Oh, this is these are the photos. Oh my god! Modal. Ah, modal. Modern, modern thing. Did you try the ice skin in the lola? So we are approaching the end of my Philippines trip. We've been here for about, I think we have about eight days left. I am truly going to miss the food, the weather, um, just being like in the province as well. Like I love the heat. Obviously it's nice to have the option to have an aircon, which we do have in this room. And it's what? a vintage lawless dress. Look at that. Wow! Pakita mama. But honestly, I think a month is a bit too short because I feel like for the whole month that we've been here, we've been kind of on the go. And so it does get a little bit tiring because you're always on the go. There's really no time to rest. But hopefully, I will be back sooner than later. I really want to visit other islands in the Philippines that I haven't been to yet. So I have a couple of islands that I have my eye on already. Nothing ever beats home. Nothing ever beats Filipino food. Like the food that I've been eating here has just been so comforting and like the fact that I can have it every day being able to speak my language and kind of warm myself up back into my language which is Tagalog being able to interact with my lolas and lolas in my native language is I think very important and very special but yeah I've just been enjoying my time so I haven't been vlogging as much um, towards the end of the trip I feel like I really just wanted to soak it all in and um, be present um, all while still capturing different moments here. I'm currently at my, one of my Lala's house and she has like this photo album full of mood boards and just like her inspo throughout the years and she has like fashion inspos and um, home decor inspos which I personally just love. I'm obsessed with her taste. It's very lovely which explains why her house is very beautiful. Um, but just like look at all the inspo. Wow. She's back home and she's tanned. But I thought I'd do a quick haul of everything that I've gotten from the Philippines that I brought home with me. So I have a big box that I brought home with me filled with literally food and snacks. I wish I could bring home the mangoes, but I couldn't. Starting off with a package that is already almost gone. So these are the Fritos strawberry milkshake and these are in insane and i like my candy not too sweet because i don't really have a sweet tooth now this cereal is my childhood i literally loved coco crunch um i tried finding coco crunch here in london but i couldn't find the exact brand i haven't tasted it but i hope it's exactly how i remembered it um in my head and then another pack that is almost gone and i wish i got more of is it's called peanut brittle and it is literally divine it's not too sweet it's crispy it's crunchy 
what more can you ask for? It's like caramelized and like sticky kind of. This one I could snack on the whole day. It's that good. This one is from the brand Mother Shepherd. But I don't think you can really go wrong with any brand of peanut brittle, but highly recommend if you get the chance to try it, try it. These are called Pochi. We got two packs of them. This is what they look like. They like gummy. These are Super Asim, which is super sour gumballs. Um, and I mainly got this because I miss the sour taste of it. Then I got a couple packs of these. It's basically a burger gummy. And as you can see, they're all just like burgers inside. So it's an actual burger that comes in like three layers. Got a couple packs of yakisoba because I love yakisoba. It's like a noodle. Now, one of my personal favorites are these cream sticks. It comes in different flavors. I got one in milk chocolate, and I also got one in cookies and cream, which I don't really like. Um, I wish I got more of the milk chocolate flavor, but I only have a couple left. So how you eat it is you cut it open, and then chocolate on a stick. These are called oval teenies. They look like medicine tablets, but like you eat them and they're crunchy. And I had to buy a couple packs. These ones are really good. They're called Lengua de Gato. And they are butter biscuits. They are divine because look how tiny they are. And they're really crispy, really buttery, really good. I got a heap ton of dried mangoes from Thailand. Extra low on sugar. Perfect for me because I don't mess with too much sugar. And then I didn't know that the Philippines have my favorite candy. Or my favorite chocolate. If you guys remember, I went to Japan and I shared my favorite chocolate from there that I had to reorder online. And they had packs of it. I bought two boxes because I don't want to ever run out. Thank you for watching. I had the best time in the Philippines and I cannot wait to be back.